I came from a family of five. We are four boys, one girl. And so growing up, it's not that easy. The thing that I want to do, I keep telling myself, I want to be on tele, I want to be on TV. Mm -hmm. Were you that class joker in school? Were you that the funny guy cracking jokes in the back of the class? I, I, I'm, I'm born to do this. I was born to do this. So that, that's it. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Fly Shiki Show, Fly Shiki TV. And today I'm your host, Phil. I am super excited to have this amazing, amazing guest on the show today. That is, if you don't know who this man is, who don't this legend, if you don't know who this legend is, then you need to you need to do your homework because this is an absolute legend of an actor, producer. This is this is just the man. Everybody should know this man. You've probably seen him somewhere, but you don't know who it is. So we're going to have to get him to talk a little bit about himself today. Let's introduce him to the fans. We have today on the show, we have Mr. Osita Eheme. MFR. I can't leave that part out. MFR. That's Member right. of the Federal Republic. Thank you so much for coming on the show today. How are you feeling today, sir? I'm good. Are you? Bless, bless. So excited to have you on the show. Member of the so Federal Republic. That is a rare title, sir. That is such a, I, I, it's just an exciting to meet some, somebody with such a, a rare title. How did you feel when you, you got um, that ordained on you in uh, 20, 2011? Yeah, um, I was so happy. I was delighted. Uh, it shows that the country that you're in is really uh, paying attention to what we are doing. They are paying attention to the creative uh, work that we are doing. And also, they, they did so well, uh, especially uh, the president, President Jonathan, yes. for recognizing for recognizing us in the creative arts. Um, that, that, that shows that, yes, they are, they are paying attention to what is going on. So I, I was so delighted, I was so elated that to be yeah. among the best uh, yes. that was uh, given the National Honor Award. So it's not yeah. easy. So I appreciate that. I, 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 I was delighted. Did you did you did you ever expect it? Was it something you expected to happen? Yeah, no, 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 not really. I was not expect. I was not mm. expecting it because most times, I was not expecting it. Most times, those I was goes to you know politicians, mm. uh, uh, you know. Uh, so it was the first time. I think the first time is coming yeah. coming for the, the the creative industry. So I was not expecting it. You know. So it came. I was so wow. That's good from him, you know, it shows that the government paid serious attention on the creative industry and the entertainment industry. Yeah. And for doing that, it means that yeah, they, 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 they are solidly behind what we are doing. Yes. So we are that's, happy. Yeah, we are happy that it happened that way. That's, that is very exciting. That is absolutely exciting. Especially to be the first, one of the first people to receive that, uh, that honor, especially in the creative arts. It's very exciting. Well, one thing I saw, I was like, yeah. you know, I, I have to ask about it because I, I don't think it's happening anymore. It's not, it's not something that's common. So great honor. Yeah, yeah, that. it doesn't come regularly like that. So it doesn't come, yeah. So since then, it, it has not happened. Yeah. So, Do you get to flex yeah, it a little bit? <laughs> no, 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 not really. I, I don't need to flex it. It's already there. People <laughs> already know. So nothing to flex about it. It comes with a little bit of privilege, doesn't it? You get... Yeah, yeah, sure, 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 sure. But well, you don't need to, you know, place it. The privilege is already there. So <laughs> you need to be yourself, you know, maintain cool. It's there, it's there. It's your own, you don't need to show it. <laughs> that's great, that's okay. great. Uh, that's Thank exciting you. to know. Uh, apart from that, how is it, how has life really been, you know, coming from where you come from, from uh, Abia State? How is, how is life as a, as a, as a young man? Um, and everything how's how's life growing up yeah growing actually up i actually i came from imo state but i imo grew state. up in abia state mm -hmm. i i grew up in abia state but i'm from imo state how's your yeah, early yeah, life so, family yeah I, I came from a family of five we are four boys one girl so growing up it's not that easy mm -hmm. um because um 
since we are uh, the parents, my parents were not that buoyant enough. You know, it's not all was not provided. So, but growing up, it was a little bit shaky or a little bit tough. Uh, but by special grace of God, we we have something to eat. We have something that we can, you know, say, okay, this is what we are uh, doing. What we are doing. This is what is keeping us on. So I grew up in an environment that is not so much, you know, uh, much, much of luxury, much of uh, what to do, um, people around. Uh, you know, I can say, you know, who, you know, when you're living in a kind of a small hood, yeah. when yeah. Um, things are not really nice, things are not really functioning where the way you're supposed to be, um, mm -hmm. the basic things are not being that provided that much. So, but we still have to, you know, uh, be who we are. That's where we find ourselves. And uh, there's nothing we can do about that. And uh, so I decided to, you know, find myself out of where I was raised. Mm -hmm. So it was not that easy, but I've been able to, you know, I know focus, remain focused, remain resolute, mm -hmm. telling myself that I, I want I, 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 I want to be higher than where I am. So um, the only way to do that is to be determined and uh, remain positive about everything, you know, keep watching those who I think that are uh, that place that I want to be. Uh, I keep watching them and I, I, test my, I, I, I tell myself that I, I want to be there one day. Yeah. Uh, so I keep focusing on what, everything that I want to do. I keep telling myself I want to be on tele. I want to be on TV. Mm -hmm. Um, I said, you know, letting going close to people that that, that I see on tele because yeah. I, I said to myself uh, I want to see myself there. So I started meeting friends that um, you know they are into acting, mm -hmm. into because I see the when I watch their pictures, I see them with some of the actors, actresses. Yeah. So I tell them that I want to join them. So by special grace, one day like that, Sunday, my friend just came up and said, there's a place they are doing audition that I should come, I gotta go. So I went for the audition and to go may have it. Before then, I was doing something in my church. I was having like, a, you know, we were having like a small drama in our yeah. block music because I'm Catholic. So we do a lot of things like that. So that inspired me to say I can do this and I will go far on this. I want to achieve more. I want to find myself on tele, on television. So I moved for the audition and unfortunately, luckily for me, I got audition and I passed for that particular movie, um, Code Blood. And the rest is history. Code Blood, what year was that? Yeah, that was uh, 2001. Wow. Uh, yeah, 2001, 2002, yeah. So when do you, what would you say your your first acting career started? Would you would you go back to the church dramas and count it from there, or you count it from 2001? Yeah, I, 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 I was doing these dramas in the church. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but everything hit up from that 2001, because mm -hmm. professionally, I now become an actor, professionally. Mm -hmm. I started doing it, prof yeah, Perfect. so okay. from that All 2001, right. everything hit, yeah. Okay. That's, that's beautiful. I see that you're very, um, I follow you on Instagram and I see that you're a very, very uh, religious man as well. So it's, it's very good to know, it's very interesting as well to know that, you know, your career started from the church as well, you know, being a Catholic man and all, very, 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 very positive. Would you say you're a very, very spiritual man as well? Yes, I am. I am. I think so. Uh, because everything I do, I like to go first because I believe I'm less. My philosophy is uh, God is the greatest. Anything mm -hmm. we do in life, um, uh, we should have uh, a bit of uh, a spiritual tendency, whatever we are doing. We should, yeah. uh, spiritually, we should have a spiritual backup in everything we do because we don't know how we came about this world. So we should be able to put that in our head as there's a supreme being that sure. made us all to be here. Uh -huh. So I used to, I always tell myself that God is the greatest. So um, I'm someone that believes that um, you need grace to do to achieve anything you want to achieve. Yeah, after working hard, you still need grace, you know, no, to match it up so that you can achieve. And that grace comes from the supreme being. That gave from you connecting with your spiritual being um, to make sure that everything is complete, physically and spiritual. You know, they go together. Yes, yes, yes. That's that's. That's very true words, you know, get, get, get an inspiration from you as well. Very messy. And you, you write about that, you know, everything got to put God first and 
it's very good to know that even from the, the beginning, everything started with him. And throughout all your success, you know, you're still keeping that that core uh, fundamental mentality about, you know, about God and Christianity and, and pushing that forward through everything that you do. Okay, so now we're going to move. I'm going to I'm going to move on a little bit and ask more about your acting career. Like you said, you know, you went to school, you really wanted to put yourself up there. Um, and you took a, a, your acting career, professional acting career, at least took off in 2001. Did you have any prior training professionally, you know, drama school, courses? No, no, no. Not, not really. The only training I can say I have is what I'm doing uh, from the church. Uh, I think uh, it's something that I seem born. I was born to do it. I was, yeah, I was definitely born to do it. That's I've seen that caption. I've seen that caption. Yeah. Born to do it. I've yeah. seen that. That's very yeah, good. Yeah, I was born to do it. So there's no training. The only training I can say I have is the small, small ones that I do in school, in drama. I do in, I do in churches. I do in church in block rosary. So no training at all. So when I started, when I came for the audition, I see myself flowing, myself at and I say, oh, God imparted this in me. I, 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 I'm, I'm born to do this. I was born to do this. So that, that's it. Oh, oh, oh. So you boys are no longer afraid of your father, eh? Uh-huh. What gave you the impetus to come here and address me in such a rubbish manner? In fact, Papa. We have called you here to give you the last warning. If you continue this affair with Fatima, we may force to disorganize it for you. Sit down. I said, sit down. You are pointing to your father with your left finger. Sit down. Papa, 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 this is a very serious issue. Papa, see, what is it that you see in Fatima that our mother does not have? Eh? Is it like this or what? Look, gentlemen, is this war? Papa, Papa, it is dialogue. Then if it's dialogue, you sit down. It is an effort for you to stand up while you are addressing your father. Sit down, I said. See, Papa, you won't understand until we start to deal with you. That talent. It's nice to see raw talent because from the outside, we could not have guessed that, you know, if that's how it is. This is really... We just, you know, we just assume, oh, every every actor went to acting school, did that drama, but just to know it just started from the church. You know? Yeah, it's true. It was later when I started acting, I said, okay, let me, let me, let me, let me, you know, do something so that I acquire more knowledge about acting. So I went to New York Film Academy. Oh, wow. So, yeah, I went to New York Film Academy to study uh, filmmaking. So, you know, just to add to my talent. But definitely, Talent is, is something that is in me. I was born in this. So the school is just to, you know, acquire a little knowledge yes. and mix it mm-hmm. up with my natural talent. Wow. So uh, you you said you went to um, you went to New York. Uh, yeah, I, I, I for... went to New York Film Academy. Sorry, filmmaking. Yeah, yeah. For how long? How long? How long? When was that? And um, how long did that take? Yeah, it, 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 just, it, just, it just a short course that I did in New York Film Academy just for a few months. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Is, is that something that, because um, you're a phenomenal actor in that field, is that something that you wanted to dive into filmmaking? Is, was, that the, was that always the end goal? Was one of, one of the, the, the avenues of the industry that you wanted to tap in as well as an actor or producer? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a producer right now. I produce, yeah. I produce my own movies. Yeah. So I, do, I do produce. I do produce. And aside from that, I want to dive into distribution too. I do produce. And uh, uh, I also want to uh, do, go into distribution, distribution phase. You know, these days we, we, we have uh, YouTube mm-hmm. available for us to start, you know, doing distribution of our, you know, we create channels to distribute our content. So aside from acting, um, I do produce. I produce most of my movies. Is it is that is that through Akbo's production? I think that's the, the name. Or or do you no, have anything no. set up right now? The production name. Yes. Do you have a production? You know, company set up. You know, yes, just to, yes, just yeah, to promote. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, ha- I have a production set up. Yeah. yeah I have cool. Osita 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 in the world. The production oh. company. Yeah, set up. I have that uh, East Coast Productions. Oh, that's that's impressive. That's impressive. 
Is that is that the, the field that you in? Which one do you enjoy more from the production I enjoy, side? I, 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 enjoy, I enjoy acting more. I enjoy really? Acting. And that one is just the business aspect of it. But this, what I enjoy is just the acting more. The other one is, you know, you know, you know, you have to, you have to prepare. You have to prepare for the responsibilities when it comes. So you have to, you know, still engage in the business. Oh, that's that's interesting. So you you love being in front of the camera more than exactly. being in the camera. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Well, I love being in the front. Yeah. So anytime I start. produce my movies, I see acts. Oh, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. Mm -hmm. That's very impressive. So um, I would like to like talking about if you believe that this is this is destiny, like something you were made to do. Like just this is something you believe in destiny as a as a concept. You think like or you think we shape our own destiny, or it's just everything is just kind of tailor made for us to just fall into the path. You know, like I said, um, my philosophy is God is the greatest. Anything we do, we have destinies, you know. But sometimes we still prepare, we still uh, um, prepare ourselves for everything that was packaged that has been packaged for us. We may not see it. But by the time we start working towards our goals, we start to find out that there's are destiny waiting for us to grab. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes you might not get there, but when you keep pushing, keep pushing, uh, um, and pass over and win some uh, obstacles and challenges ahead of you, because there must be challenges. You can't hit where your head is. So I must say, there's destiny. There's destiny because mm -hmm. sometimes when you do something, you still come back on what you want to do. So it, sure. still can, it can still come back to your destiny of yeah. where you're destined to be. So I, I, I believe there's still destiny because when you have talent and you and you and making use of your talent very well, that means you're destined to be there. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Wise words, wise words. Now let's 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 talk about it a little bit more. As you um, you're a very very talented actor. In, in 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 a comedy sense, would you say that you are a funny person? Were you that class joker in school? Were you that the funny guy cracking jokes in the back of the class? You get in trouble for you know talk cracking jokes in the yeah. back and disrupting? Yeah, yeah. Funny, funny enough. Um, um, in real life, uh, it, it don't it don't see me do all those things that I used to do in the in the movie. You know, but when, when you see me in the movie, I start flowing. So that's that's for you to, for what I understand that I was born to do this. Once mm. once camera face me, I change. I become another person. Wow. Off cam off camera is somebody that is totally a different thing. But in front of camera, something different. So wow. in class, I, 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 I'm not that kind of, you know, trying to make it funny, do this, do mm. this, play around, joke. No, but when camera is facing me, everything that comes up, wow. everything just comes up. Everything starts popping up when, once the camera is facing me. But when camera is off me, it just disappears. You will see them again. But you still have a, a little bit characteristic of them coming out, the, the threat of it coming up. But once the camera is there, uh, it just flows. So, that's why I say um, it's destined to be there. I was born to do it. It's, it's, it's a natural thing. That's, that's that's very interesting because you you wouldn't you wouldn't have guessed that you know we didn't have guessed that. I guess it's just it's just sometimes you know just a star. You just you just make you know just some people just have it like that you know be able to turn that switch and just it's it's just that. The actor in you, I guess you could say, they just you just come out for when the camera, when the when the time is up, you need you need you need to be a different person. Would you say you're more of a private person, you know, in your in your social life? You know, keep your family and business aside, or are you just a complete uh, complete open book? I would say. Yeah, definitely. I can say I'm both. So I'm a little bit. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a bit reserved. I'm mm -hmm. private. And Open, you know, depending depending on the environment. If I'm with the right people, if I'm with the right people, I'm very very open. But if I'm in an environment that I need to observe first before I start opening myself, before I start reaction, before I start, you know, before I flow. So I can really say a bit private, a bit reserved. Um, but when I'm with the right people, the social life will just pop up. That's that's good. I that's 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 very interesting. Um. A question that I personally want to ask is that 
throughout your acting career, from all the way from when you really took off in 2003 with Akina Unkwa, all the way up to up the upcoming movies coming up, especially in a comedic sense, do you always stick to the script or sometimes you improvise? Because some of the scenes that you legendary scenes that you have. I, I, I just I just want to know, like, do you improvise a little bit with the comedy, you know, or, or is it always very scripted? Yeah, Aksanato, Aksanato is very necessary for uh, every actor to improvise mm -hmm. because script is just like a guideline. Script is just like a guideline telling you this is what this is the area you're heading to. This is what you need to do. Script is just a guideline. The way you get there as an actor, you need to do your job as an actor, which means you need to also improvise because the script given to you is just a guideline of what you need to do, guideline of the storyline, guideline of the character that you need to do. So as an actor, that was that that's that makes you an actor when you start improvising because that's where you're adding your own, that's where you're bringing bringing what you know, that's where you're 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 bringing that talent that you have in you. So improvisation is very, very important as an actor. After, after getting your script, after getting the guidelines, your duty is to put yourself where you will feel comfortable. You put yourself where you, be, you feel comfortable, still following the guideline given to you, which is the script. Feeling comfortable, you choose the words, you choose the lines that you know that you'll be comfortable with. Choose the movement, the acting that you know you're comfortable with. Once it's still in line, in the storyline and the script given to you. So it's always good to improvise. That it, it, yeah. it, it helps the actor, it helps you to flow, it helps to put you in your comfortable position while after. Do you have money? Don't you know that women like money? They need money. Even if, if I don't have money, how will she know that I don't have money? <laughs> so you don't know. What is this? Your look. Your smell. In fact, any girl that sees you that will know that you don't have takeover. Are you okay now? My smell? Yes, your smell. How do I smell? You perceive it. You smell bush bush. But if you have money, you'll be smelling pef pef. One of my favorite scenes that you have is actually is when you were I, 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 you were in class in front of the class and you you were you were rocking with one of your female facilitators and you just let out a rap. A banana. I I like I don't think that that that's I don't I don't know. If that was scripted or that was just you, because I could see in the crowd some of the actors just, in there. You know, you know, singing, singing is another another thing in me that I have not really as beat as beat really? at all. Yeah, definitely. And I know someday one day it's gonna come out. You know, that's another one that I love. I want to do. I love to do that. I have not really shown out there to the world. But I know one day I have some songs that I did. Mm -hmm. But I just after doing it, I just. Keep them in just the put, you put on the drive. <laughs> exactly. I'll say just one day, one day I'll just bring it up because wow. music is another thing that I love to do. I love to sing. Really? And sing, that you singing thing, more uh, or rap? I have, uh, uh, yeah, both, both rap, sing. Anyone that can flow with me, you know, I rap a bit. You know, most of my movies, what I do is rap. Yeah. You understand? But but I think I can still sing. Uh, yeah, I can still sing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We 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 waiting for the. You gotta give us a, a little definitely, EP, definitely. Couple of features. So, what kind of musicians, especially with the uh, Nigerian music scene and the whole African Afrobeat uh, music scene and all the elements taken off? Which artists do you say are often in your rotation right now, or which artists would you liken yourself to? I would say, especially with the with the kind of music that you like. Yeah, the artists they are doing pretty well. They are doing good. Their songs are, you know, every artist has their another way of bringing out their sound. Yes. Of, uh, of bringing out their sound. Yeah. So I think they are doing pretty good. I can't really point out one and say this is my favorite or this is the best. They are all doing good. You know, promoting Africa, selling African uh, culture out uh, there, promoting um uh, the Afrobeat, hip hop, and all the other things out there. But I can't really say. This is the particular person mm. that you know that is favorite. They are doing well. They are doing well in their different field. And most especially those those, those that are, you know taking the the African culture abroad. Mm. You know,
So doing singing is it African songs, African Afrobeat, African mm. culture, our language, our way of dressing out there, you know, sending the message out there. I think they are doing well. Yeah, that's 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 good to know. That's good that you feel that way, especially as we we finding out more about your your music love inside over here, Flashiki. That's something we like to promote, you know, with that with the African diaspora. So uh, since you don't want, you want to be a little, you're not, you're not trying to give too much out with your favorites. Is there somebody new or a couple of new artists that you're listening to? You don't have to, you know, it doesn't have to be someone too big or someone that you just yeah, found yeah, that you like sure, the sound. Sure. Right now I'm listening to, there's one guy that I love so much. I'm listening to his song. Um, uh, I think one of the songs is, uh, is called Mad. Mad, mad, yeah. And recently, I'm listening to Whiskey Song too. The one that yeah. sang with the uh, ten. It's got oh, essence. Essence, yeah. It's the essence. big yeah. song, big song. Yeah, big song. yeah, big song. Yeah, big, big song. song. Is it? Is it song. mad? Mad? Is it by Trouble? Is yeah, it? Trouble is by Ward. By, by Ward. Ward, yes. Yeah. Ward, yeah, by Ward. Ward, Ward. Yeah. yeah, great musician. He has it's mad, to... he has trouble. By what? Yeah, he's he was also on uh, one of the songs, but with the Vido. Yeah, sure, sure. Great, great, great artist. That's yeah. nice to know. You know, keeping an eye out for the. You know, we just love to see that. You know, you're really in tune with the music as well as the acting. Now, in terms of the acting as well, um, what do you, you know? What are some of the things that you love about the up and coming? actors, especially in the comedic acting world, especially in Nollywood, um, what are some, maybe had some advice you'd like to give to uh, up and coming actors uh, who want to really tap into that niche market that you have, you have flourished in? Yeah, um, the advice is most of them are picking up right now. Um, the hard work is there. They focus, they, they, they focus on what they are doing and they really pick up, they are really understanding that uh, it's not just a play, it's not just coming out there to, you know, move around, move your body, it's, it's, yeah. it's a business. So they're understanding that it's also a business, in as much as, you know, um, this is what you like to do, you also understand that it's business, so you need to get serious with it. When you have your script, you read your script, and when you come on set, you take it as a business, like you're set, you are at work, that like you've been employed to do this. So you get serious and be determined and be focused and take it right away the way you handle your money because you know you do not like to lose your money. So when you're acting, you take it that way that like you don't want to lose this. You don't want to lose this character. You don't want to lose this uh, uh, offer. So you have to play and play it well. So the upcoming actors are really understanding that it's, it's, it's business they're doing. So they are being more serious about it. So my advice for them is to also uh, keep doing what they are doing and be determined, uh, be focused on what they are doing. Wow, that's very, 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 very inspirational words over there. We love that you know you 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 wanted them to combine the talent with the hard work and discipline. Something that definitely worked for you. And it's, 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 yeah. yes, it's very good that you can hear that from a, such a seasoned actor and producer as yourself. Now, I want to talk a little bit more about um, your up and coming movie, um, Christmas, um, Christmas in Miami first. I think um, actually, I can't pop up, comes out on the December 17th. That's the first one. Now, I have a question about, I can't pop up, very, very iconic duo. Over over the years, getting close to twenty years now since the original movie, still it's very well traveled movie. Akunauka, very very well known. Why was why didn't you guys call the the, the initial movie Akia Popo? Because if you even ask about Akinaunka, people don't even no most people don't know the specific name. Like it, the movie is not Akia Popo, but Akinaunka. Why the rebrand? With the with the with the title of the movie, yeah, because the character the character in the movie Aki no Kwa, that took over the title yeah. of the movie. Mm. The character the Aki and Popo character, now took over the character of the movie. The character the title is Aki no Kwa, but the character is Aki and Popo. So the two the two characters now became so popular that you only 
uh, you can only mention them instead of mentioning the title of the movie, which is the Akenokwa. So in rebranding it, for you to, you know, get the audience well, understand, a lot of people don't know it's Akenokwa again. What they now know is Akenokwa. So I think that was why we said, to, you know, put it out there, put it straight to the people, say this is Akenokwa, instead of the, you know, the old title that he has before, which is Akenokwa. Because Aki and Popo, which is the characters in the movie, which covers the title. So when you say Aki and Popo, people will just understand straight. They will know the movie that you're talking about. But when you mention Aki and Opa, those who didn't watch the movie those days, they will not understand. They will still see it see, as maybe a new film coming up. Yeah. But when you mention Aki and Popo, they know Aki and Popo. So they know this is Aki and Popo movie. Guys, that is very true. That is very true. And that is that that's a that's a great rebranding. But I would ask, like, what what really what moved the movie to um to 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 be produced now? Like, why now? And what should we expect from this new? Because we we know the old one had had a lot of characters, and it was very set. It was a very it was a it was a very authentic to the time. What should we expect from this one? And um. And how has the movie even shaped your life? Because that movie was probably the big one as a what a great stepping stone for you into your career with other movies. Yeah, that that that, 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 that that's that's the movie that brought us to limelight. Is the movie mm. that did everything, is the blockbuster, is the hookup of everything that we are doing today. You know, before then we've done other movies, but the Kia Popo movie was the one that blown everywhere was the limelight, it was the blockbuster movie. It was, it was like a divine connection when we met each other. Mm -hmm. uh, so it was the movie that really, you know, bring us up the other, because up uh, there, it's the movie that made everything. It changed a lot of things. Yeah. So, and uh, recently people started, you know, watching most of our old movies. So fans, a lot of fans was yelling for all those, the old artists, old jokes, that we used to create, that we used yeah. to do. So they were like calling to bring back those characters that we used to play there. True. And uh, I think that was what gave back to the new rebranding of Aki and Popo. So we now decided to you know, bring back the, the memory back. Yes. You know, for oh, those yeah. who, couldn't, who, uh, who couldn't watch them, uh, mm -hmm. we have to bring it back for them to at least have a few glimpses of what it used to be then. Even though that is not going to be like what they watched before, but this is 21st century. This is 21st century Aki and Popo. Because Aki and Popo, they have grown, and uh, they have become uh, adults. And so so uh, the new one is going to show people that, okay, these people, they have moved from this step to another step. So everything you are going to see in this new Aki and Popo. Uh. That's love. The nostalgia, I'm excited because the nostalgia, I remember I was very, very young when I saw that movie back in the, the early 2000s. And yeah, um, I'm excited for this one. The nostalgia about the nostalgic sense that you guys are bringing back with uh, meshing it with the, the modernized times and the 21st century and how everything is going these early days should be a very, very interesting movie. Now, I just want to ask, you and um, Mr. Chinedu, popularly and affectionately known as Aki, did you guys know each other before you guys started acting? Uh, how did, was it just a casting that you guys just met? Because the on-screen chemistry is, is, is Batman and Robin. Is, is, yeah, is, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a powerful, it's a powerful chemistry. And uh, like I said before, it was a divine meeting. Yeah. Because we met on set, we came to shoot a movie, and I also came to shoot, do a movie. So we met on location. So it was a divine connection. It was a divine meeting. So then we were doing something perfectly as we were meet that was just coming up. Mm -hmm. So before we now met each other, um, the producer now saw two of us. So uh, it was like, wow. These two great people, I think, coming together, they, 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 they will do something great. So the producer now decided to come up with the Camp of script. The Akenoka script. Um, that was how we shot the movie and the rest is history. 
Nice. It was a divine commission. The chemistry was huge. Yeah, because I, I, I don't know. Like some people, it, it was, there were a lot of, uh, uh, a lot of information going around. There's a lot of hearsay rumors that you guys were best childhood best friends. You guys were brothers. I mean, people, you thought you guys were twins, even though you guys don't even look alike. <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely. We, we we met on set when we came to do movies. So we don't know each other before. We just met on set. We saw ourselves. Wow. We, we shook her. It's okay. We look alike. Uh, fine. People, we are like, ah, they're brothers. We are there. They're friends. Da, 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 da. So the producer now saw, you know, you say, okay, I think, uh, I think there's something different here. I, I, I want to create something out of this. Then I called us and said, okay, I want to do something together. Well, fortunately, luckily, uh, yeah, our chemistry will match together. We have seen people who have been together before. We've seen each other before. We've done ourselves before. So, you know, the acting was so perfect that people were like, wow, are they really friends? Are they brothers? Yeah. Are they together? But we don't know each other before the movie. Mm. So, and the right that that is very 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 special. Is the on screen chemistry translated to real life? Are you guys as close and as are you guys as close as we see you guys on camera? And can we expect that in the new movie as well? Like the way you guys are close, are we going to yeah, see sure, that sure. in the new I can't Yeah, we're close. Mm -hmm. we're definitely close. We do things together. The time we are living together. Oh. We are, living, we are living together for some so for so many years before we now you know started having you know our different mm. our family and all that so yeah that was when we you know moved differently to other find private apartments for each other so we are we are close up to today up to today so now with the upcoming movie for Akim Popo what what do you what would you like to tell the fans? What should you expect? Uh, uh and and how is the what can we what we watch? Especially your fans out here in the in the US, in the UK, across the world. Well, my fans are here. I I recently I recently released my memes on NFTs. Yeah, wow. the NFTs. I released it on uh, my NFTs on Rarible. So I'm expecting my fans also to go there. And the you know patronize and have yeah. one two NFTs and have for them. Um, it's a rallyable drug purple. Yeah. So I'm, I'm calling on them to keep it because a lot of things are coming up. So right now the NFTs are already there. More are coming on by mm -hmm. January. Uh, the their capable review also is coming up you know, by seventeenth of, of this month. Mm -hmm. So I'm calling on them to keep watching. Expect a lot of things from my camp. And we still have series coming up. The series of a camp of which we did. It's still oh, coming wow. on Netflix. Yes. Yeah. You guys have that is exciting. A Netflix series. This is this is very exciting. Now you said about the NFTs. I gotta ask, which is your favorite meme of yourself? Which meme of yourself <laughs> is it? And not even your favorite. Which one do you like the most? Or at least top two, your memes of yourself. Yeah. Um, I, have a, I have a lot of them. I have a lot of them out there. Being able to place this is the one I love most, I, I, that might be difficult because I allow mm. people to do that for me. Yeah, I allow people to say, okay, this is my best, this is my best, because to me, it would be hard to, you know, pick one and say, <laughs> say hey, this is the best. I think, I think they're the all, I think they're all yeah. great. They're all great. It's like, yeah. You, yeah, yeah. Which, which, okay, which one shocked you the most? Which one had you like, which one surprised you that people were using just that specific scene out of movie? You're like, I didn't even expect that. Yeah, the one, the one people are using much is the one, the one I was counting, I think the one I was like counting money. <laughs> <laughs> that when I was that's... Money, you know, you know, you know the power of money. Uh, so yeah. people I think they are using that one to express themselves and I have made it. Oh, this is what I will be, you know, when I have this, you know, a lot of expressions on that. Yeah. 
the, oh, the is... people are using that one more. Yeah, people use that one more. People also love the the rapping ones as well. The sing the ones you're. It's just, it's a lot. It's a lot. It is it's very nice. Yeah, to... it's a lot. Don't sing for me now. Anything you want, I'll do it for you. Nah, nah, nah. Mm. Are you sure? It's a promise. I cross my heart. Ah. Which song will I sing for you now? Ah, that sweet one. Um, Biggie Biggie. Hey. Mm. Big Dada, Tabi Hu Hada, Kubon Siga, Puff the Non Stopper, International, One Chief Rocker, like a Pippi Helmi, Jiggy Jiggy, Biggie Diggy, Heavy Heavy, Baby Do You Want Me, but trust me, that's a very flat like me, the Big Daddy Harley. Did you, how do you feel that, you know, with so many years removed, that the relevancy is just, it's just never gone. You're just there, you just keep recycling. Like, how? I know you're gonna say it's it's all divine, like, but as a as a human being, as a man, how does it feel just to know that you know it's just you just created a legacy that is just ongoing? I feel I feel great spiritually, like I said, you know, mm -hmm. um, God is the greatest, you know, because without grace, without grace, it wouldn't be that far. Mm. That grace you will sustain that legacy, uh, uh, to sustain it and keep it that far for so many years and keep it going. It's grace. Because a lot of people can still work hard. After working hard, it won't it take you far. Uh, and then everything will just, you know, cut short. But when the grace is there, it will take your lifetime. In whatever you're doing, you will remain there. You know, it's not by what you're doing. It's not by, you know, you know how far you push yourself. But once that grace is there, Grace is there, uh, uh, it will always be a long time thing, it will always be a long time project in your life. You can work hard and it will cost us in our London life, but when the grace is there, does you working or not working to keep going because it's a long time project package for you by the Supreme Day. So you say you, you just, you're, you're more of a, in the process, just, be thankful as the process continues rather than be, yeah, I, I, I completely respect that. I completely understand that. Yeah. Now, if I, if I would say, uh, talking about your legacy and all, if you had to go back, you know, if you had to go back to your early days, let's go back to 2001 with your first movie, what advice would you tell your, would you tell young Osita? back then what, what 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 would you tell him to look forward to any advice anything you do differently um i will tell younger sister i will tell younger sister younger sister you did well you did well mm -hmm. you worked hard for it yeah, um you, you put in your best your head was there mm -hmm. As a young man, you did work for it. Mm. That's very motivational. That's it. Just because congratulations. Just congratulations. Yeah. The hard work and discipline. And it shows. It shows. Lovely to see that it all paid off and it's continually paying off and will continue to pay off as well. Now for the last, for the for the for the last um for the next movie that's Christmas in Miami, how did that the whole I I love the premise. I was reading a little bit about it, about how the different families and, and how how did that premise come about? How did that project start? And what should we expect uh, for the movie? Uh, Christmas Christmas in Miami was a, um, a great movie. You know, for we to to fly all the way from Nigeria um, to Miami to make something great. Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, if you see, we featured um, uh, Hollywood actor John Ramos. I know uh, 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 if you have seen it. Very, very popular. Yes, you have seen the pictures. I've seen the pictures from the set. Uh huh. It was a great movie we made for Christmas. We made for holiday for people to mm -hmm. enjoy. You know, once in a while, as a creative person, we need to give people what they're expecting. So we know people are going home for Christmas, and the people are just coming. You know, coming out gradually from the from the COVID thing. Yeah. So something to you know pull up their life with. They need something to enjoy their life with. So we decided to create this wonderful uh, 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 feature, which is Christmas in Miami. 
you know, for them to feel the Christmas and forget the worries, the challenges of the COVID and everything. You know, at least let's have time to have fun and enjoy our life after mm-hmm. coming out from uh, the issue of COVID. Then. Yeah. You know, it's time for people to celebrate. It's time for people to uh, have fun. It's time um, for them to be united, people from other continents. Yeah. That continent, India, Japan, uh, Brazil, you know, it, it's a movie that's trying to, you know, tell other cultures from other continents for you to understand how people, other people live their life and what they respect, their culture, the way of living, and yeah. how what they eat. You know, I think um, it's a great one. When you come out of cinema, people, I think people appreciate it. Because yeah. it has a lot of lessons that is people out there yeah that's very that's very interesting it's, it's lovely to know that you know especially the feel-good movies like a christmas movie a feel-good movie well, um, timeless people, uh... yeah yeah that's very timeless like a christmas movie is coming out twenty four tonight. oh yeah. oh perfect perfect timing that's perfect timing perfect timing yes. where, where, can, where can we um where can we patronize the movie? Where would we be able to watch it, stream it? It's going to be uh, for now. It's coming on. For now, it's coming on cinema in Nigeria, and um, mm-hmm. you know, after the cinema, if you, when the Netflix deal is completed, uh, it will mm-hmm. also come on Netflix. That's, that's we're absolutely waiting for it. Looking forward to that as well. Yeah. That's, that's 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 very good to know. Well. Before before we before uh, it's been lovely it's been lovely chatting with you and before we wrap up I would like I like to say that uh, when you were talking about the feel good movie it reminded me of one of your memes where you're talking about this is your time to have fun enjoy yourself <laughs> absolute legend it's, it's been great chatting to you great picking your mind and it's good to it's good to know that. Um, there's a lot of stuff to look forward to. We're really excited here at Flashiki TV and just all your fans across the diaspora are just excited with all the new works. We'll try uh, anything you have to plug in, you can tell us. Um, and then we just look forward to all your stuff. So if you anything you want to tell your fans, plug in some new stuff, upcoming stuff, and just what to look out for with uh, Mr. Osika. I want them to go out there and see the NFTs mm-hmm. and make sure they have it. Is that, is, them, there, is there a link you like to, Christmas, to plug in or just follow your yeah. socials and we can get the NFTs? Yeah, you can Rarible, um, www.rarible.com to mm-hmm. pop up. And on the Instagram, on my bio on Instagram. You, should have, you see the link on uh, my Instagram bio, Osita Hilema. Anything else you want to plug in? Or just the NFTs? It's moving forward. Is there anything to look forward to? Yeah, right Right now is the NFTs and the movie coming up. You know, a lot of them. So after this, we still bring in another one. So for now, this is what they should be looking forward to. That's great. That's great. Well, we're looking forward to it. Everybody, make sure you go plug in with the NFTs. Look at uh, hashtag Paw Paw. You should find it. Patronize. Upcoming movies. We have Akia Paw Paw December 17th, December 24th Eve coming out. We have Christmas in Miami. It's been so lovely chatting to you, Mr. Osita. And uh, we wish you all the best over here from Flash Shiki TV. And we hope to see you in cinemas and on our screens and probably with a couple of NFTs real soon. Hope you have a lovely day, sir. Lovely chatting with you. Yeah. Thank you so much. You have a good one. Thank you. I appreciate it.